Hey everybody, Brett from Sardis Gaming here, back with another episode of our Crusader Kings 2 Game of Thrones mod Let's Play. So in the last episode, the uh, previous lord, Lord Harlan of Carhold, died. Uh, he was assassinated by a poisonous viper let loose in his bed. And so his nephew, uh, Callan Raventree, is now the lord of Carhold and Last Hearth and White Harbor. And we've got to do a little bit of uh, maneuvering here to get our uh, ducks all back in a row, I guess. So, um, I guess with that, let's just go ahead and dive right in. Um, I'd like to remind you guys to hit that like button if you're enjoying our Crusader Kings 2 series thus far and you'd like to see more of it. And don't forget to subscribe as well. It's the best way to help the channel grow and the best way to follow along with this series as it continues. So, we need to pick an ambition. Um, we also need to get rid of our wife and then our heir... Sybil Raventree is unmarried. We're going to need to handle that as well. So, let's see. Plot to kill. That's going to be pretty easy, actually. So, I think I'll do it. I could also arrange for a divorce, but that's going to cost me a lot of money and prestige. So, I am going to plot to kill her. <clears throat> and uh, we'll basically invite anybody who is willing to join us, which seems like it's going to be quite a few people. There's two. Uh, we got three and four right here. Uh, I could throw some money at Doran here and get him to join. Let's see. 15 gold? Sure. Uh, ooh, Brennett. Okay. Wow, I didn't even need him. Uh, no. Anybody else? Okay. Wow, actually quite a few. They just keep coming. 20%, yes, please. Uh, another 8. And uh, we're getting pretty close to the bottom, right? Okay, good. So, that should be taken care of relatively quickly. Um, in the meantime, we were going to pick an ambition. I am not going to choose one yet, actually, because as soon as we assassinate her, we're going to get the ambition to get married. And, uh... That's pretty easy to do, obviously, because that's something that we can directly affect. So I would prefer to do that. And then um, beyond that, we'll probably go for like this or this. We do want a son. Oh, wait, sorry. This one. We do want a son, especially with the new wife, because that would be um, our primary heir and it would bump these ladies out of the inheritance line. For the meantime, though, Sybil needs a spouse, and so I would prefer a matrilineal marriage if she is to be our heir, which, I mean, until we get a son, it, we may as well assume that she's going to be. So we have, like, Randall Tyrell, who's not a terrible character, but not particularly great. Um, wow, you're really old. He's actually a really good character. He's just way too old. They'll never have any children. Um... Same goes for Miles there, although he's not quite as good. Wow, we're really kind of falling off here. Yeah, anybody who's even worth looking at is terrible. Or sorry, everybody who's even worth looking at is really, really old, and everybody who uh, isn't old is just awful. Jory's not that bad, though. So Jory rides well. He's a Northman. Um... We could certainly do worse, and they're the same age, so... Honestly, I'm kind of leaning toward him. Harlan Flint... Uh, he's a bastard. I, th I think that's going to hurt our prestige. You're also a bastard. I think that might... Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's going to hurt our prestige. But nobody else is really standing out. So I think we'll go with Jory. And apparently we'll gain a little bit of prestige. It's not going to hurt us that he's a bastard. I will accept that then. And so you are now married. Or at least you will be very soon. So we'll start the clock. And uh, actually no we won't because we need to appoint people. Alright, so Castellan. I guess Lawrence is going to be our Castellan because he's the best choice for it. Although it won't let me select him for whatever reason. 
Master at Arms. Uh, is it going to be Wireless or Benjin? Benjin is more loyal, but he's also a lot older. Uh, we'll give it to... Wireless because he is a lord, and appointing him will boost his opinion of us slightly. He'll also be around a little bit longer, presumably. So we'll appoint him there, and we'll have him train troops in the capital. Uh, treasurer is going to be Master Winton of Hardmead, which is fine by me. Uh, let's see. Ramsey is by far the best choice there. Why won't it let me appoint these people? Can we appoint Brennett? No. This is really strange. It won't let me appoint uh, Willard, if you would. No. Huh. Oh, that's why. Okay. Understood. They are already, um... We're waiting for them to agree to join our plot, basically. So, I can't give them another uh, offer until that's complete. Is this ready yet? Um, don't bother me with that right now. But we do need to give away our extra little piece of land. So we're at 225. We have Weeping Bay. We're going to want to give that to somebody. Um, what we could do is give it to her, or her husband, I guess. Jory Snow. Um, host a wedding feast. So I can grant him an honorary title. Uh, we'll think about it. We'll think about it. But I do need to get rid of uh, Weeping Bay. What happened there? Okay, that's good. That doesn't matter. Um, a child lacks a guardian. This is Janella. My niece. Um, let's see. Just have the best... What's she naturally inclined toward? Stewardship? So we'll have the best steward that we have educate her. Okay. Let's continue. And uh, let's take a quick look at the family tree here. So we have our brother Clay Raven Tree, who I don't think actually has any land. It might be worth giving him some land. He does have a daughter, Janella, who we were just looking at. So his line isn't entirely secure, but he does technically have an heir. Whether or not that would stay in the Raven Tree bloodline, I don't know. Um, we also have a couple daughters, or sorry, sisters, Arana, who is currently not married. We should probably arrange a marriage for her. Um, let's see. I don't know. Since she's not part of my... My court, I guess I won't bother. Um, what about Beth? She is married. She does have a son, Ethan Bolton. I don't know that I want to give the Boltons any land, though. And then, uh... Oh, my sister is the Lady of Moat... Cat, Mo Caitlin. Interesting. And they already have land, so there's no point in giving it to them. Okay, well, something to think about. So I should be able to appoint those people to my council now. Um, let's see. Yeah, definitely Willard. Dreadfort is suffering a devastating winter. Okay. Right, the Dreadfort's mine now. I forgot to mention that at the beginning of the episode. Um, we are also the Lord of the Dreadfort. Although it's uh, not containing any levies at the moment. So, you're working... Let's have you... Let's see, scheme... Increase the likelihood of uncovering plots. I think we want a spy network. Increasing the likelihood of intrigue events, yeah. So go ahead and do that. Um, our priest, meanwhile, is currently performing charity. That's totally fine by me. We still need a castle, and we'll put Lawrence in that spot. And I just want him overseeing the province. So whenever we're able to get rid of our wife... Hopefully she's not pregnant. Okay. Yeah, she's just a terrible character. 
So let's see. Oh, it has to be someone. Yeah, never mind. Never mind. We'll, uh, wait to look at potential wives until after our current one is gone. The now known as the Imperius, okay. Well, I was kind of inclined to give him one. Hmm. At least our diplomacy is high enough where we can say that. It really, really sucked playing as uh, Lord Harlan and everybody just demanding stuff of me and not being able to talk my way out of it. So I'm glad that we've got, you know, 15 diplomacy. Um... I think we're gonna give it to him. I think we're gonna do it. So... No, no, we're not giving him White Harbor. Um, I'll promise to arrange it. The Imperius, I don't know what that means. I mean, I know what the word means, I don't know what that means game-wise. Well, uh, right, let's give him some land now when I can still choose it. So we're going to give him Weaving Bay. And that puts us down to 4 out of 3, which is what we want. He's left my court, as well as his uh, wife and daughter. Oh, patrol posts are done. Nice. Okay, um... So let's see. We've got patrol posts here. We could build a militia training ground. It would give me a whole lot of archers. We could also build a barracks. I'm trying to focus on income buildings first, and so private farms would probably be my first choice. It doesn't look like there's really anything else I can choose that will uh, get me more income other than this tiny slave camp, which I don't... I'm not going to promote slavery in the north. Uh, a dragon pit. Nah. Wine cellar. To help fertility. I think we need improved castle before we can get improved. No, we need small estates too. Uh, where's small estates one? That must be an upgraded version of like... I would think that's an upgraded version of private farms. So let's just keep working down that tree. Okay, this is at like 230%, come on. Like, she's not even that intelligent of a character. We should be able to catch her off guard pretty easily. Well, we could throw in another 11% if we felt like spending some gold. Hmm. Oh, wow. We could get 15%. Uh, 15 might be worth it. Let's see, how much is it going to cost me? 15? What the hell? Oh, and of course, as soon as I do that, well, you may as well join. And then uh, apparently we're going to ambush a caravan that she's in. Let's see, okay, I uh, don't care about those. Don't care, don't care. Success! The mercenaries ambushed the carriage of Lady Kasana and made short work of her. They let the driver go, and he is convinced the attack was carried out by highwaymen. Good. So we succeeded in getting rid of our wife. Um, to be honored with a funeral, just a, just a private funeral will do. The other ones get very expensive. So she's gone. She's gone. Oh man, how many wives have you had? Let's arrange a marriage. For ourself and uh, wait, really? No, we want to do this. Sorry. Okay, so we've got Hara, who's the Lady of Stony Shore. Not the best character ever, but she's got a lot of good traits. Um, let's see, what are our other options? I'd prefer to marry somebody who's already of age because I don't. He's already 32. I don't want to wait too much longer. We do need a son pretty badly after all. We have Kasana, another Kasana, who's the lady of Crone Tower. Uh, she is Dornish. Not a very good character, though. We have Marissa. Not a particularly great character. She's got some okay traits mixed in with some bad ones. 
And, uh, yeah, there's not looking like a ton of options here. Bessa's not bad. She would be a pretty competent steward for us. Um, she's got good traits, too. She's not a bad choice. The issue being here that we wouldn't really get anything from it. Whereas with uh, Lady Hara, we would... Well, we wouldn't get a non-aggression pact, but our children would have claim or, you know, potentially inherit whatever um, she's holding. So that's pretty tempting. And she's 19, so she's still younger than our character. What are our other options? Bessa... Eglantine? That's quite the name there. She's a Stormlander. Um, pretty competent militarily, but not very good traits. Um, Amalia, Treasurer of Haswick. She's actually a very good character. I'm kind of leaning toward her. Again, we won't really benefit from this, though. So... I'm, I'm thinking Amalia. Let's see where... Um, Stony Shore is? I don't know how I can really... Here we go. Stony Shore. So that would net me another province in the north. Um... Huh. And because it is not a matrilineal marriage, our, our children would directly inherit that. It's tempting. But then I gotta think about the overall competence of my children as well, and her stats are not particularly great. So I'm I'm thinking we're gonna go for actually before I get married, let's grab that ambition. And then uh, we'll come down here, find the character that we were looking at that I've already lost. Lamella, yeah, I think we wanna keep going up. Because these people don't look familiar. Still don't look familiar. Ravella, yeah. That doesn't look right. Okay, so there's Bessa. So we'll scroll on down to... Wait, I'm totally lost now. We gotta go from this direction. <laughs> okay. Did they, like, shuffle the list on me or something? They may have. No, okay. There she is. Alright, so we will... Uh, I just want to check out her background first. No? Okay. Go for it. Okay, so let's see. She had a child already. But he died. Okay, so um, she has a claim on the Lordship of Yelshire. So our daughter is stubborn. Hmm. 15% chance of gaining slothful. Stubborn is just such a bad trait though. There we go. Okay, so hopefully we can have a son with our new wife. Let's go ahead and uh, grab that ambition. Release from Lord Winton of King's House Dungeon. Okay. Let's close all these. And um, we're getting actually pretty near to the end of the episode. I'm going to cancel this one actually. I wasn't really thinking. Oh, I can't. Until... Oh, I have to wait quite a while. I should have taken the one to have five children because the next child we had would have been the fifth child no matter what, whether it was a boy or a girl. And so we could have gotten some free prestige from that. Um, I mean, I, I prefer the fifth child be a son, so I'm not, like, totally upset that I picked this. But at the same time, it would have been nice to uh, sort of take the safer bet. So where where is Yelshire? Oh, it's all the way down here. Okay, well, we probably won't be bothering with that. Our other option was out here, but I don't know. The, the new wife is a much, much better character. Huh. Um, no thanks. We're actually going to try to keep this character alive. 
It's it's funny, uh, with Lord Harlan, we pretty much did like everything. Wait, it's gonna be his Where is Lord Harlan? Hang on here. That's not him. That's Nelsor the Candid. Um Harlan of Carhold, there he is. So we basically went nuts with this guy. If you didn't really follow along with the uh, playthrough before now, we turned him into like a murdering lunatic. Uh, he was dishonorable, um, literally a lunatic. Uh, he got maimed because we refused to quit during one of the melees. And he basically just got like beat to hell uh, by one particular guy who just we could not beat. And so, uh, yeah, he ended up getting like really, really injured. But he ended up getting assassinated. He didn't even die because of the uh, the wounds. So let's see what's happening here. Um, Hornwood claim on the Dreadfort. I still don't understand what this war is all about. Because the Dreadfort is mine. And I'm not part of this war. So I don't understand like what claim they're fighting over necessarily. Because the claim is not even like real at this point but I guess they can do whatever they want meanwhile we are still trying to establish a claim of our own um, actually no we're not because the guy wait Pine's End oh yeah, there you are okay I was gonna say we replaced our whole uh, council but uh, Lord Winton actually stayed around he's not the best character for the job though I think I'm gonna put Florian in that spot and uh, we'll have him try to grab uh, Crow's Edge again. Um, let's see, the Spy Master and the Maester probably shouldn't be leading armies either. Currently not forbidden. Currently forbidden, okay. So let's keep moving. Hopefully with the uh, new Counselor, we will have a little bit better luck. It's not Counselor, is it? Justicar. With the new Justicar, we can uh, grab that claim. It looks like Wyla's got a little bit better at martial skill, too. Okay. Um, I'm actually thinking of maybe putting Winton in there at some point, now that he's been freed up. He's not as good as... Wow, our wife it could potentially be our Master at Arms. That'd be pretty cool. Um, Benjin and Wyla's are both really, really old. Winton is actually not too far behind, though. He just looks a lot younger because he hasn't turned 50 yet. So, um, I was thinking of putting him in there just because of, you know, longevity's sake. But if I was going to do that, I might appoint my wife instead. Hmm, I'll think about it. When, uh, maybe I'll just leave Wireless in there until he passes on, and then, uh, if there's nobody better than our new wife, I'll put her in there. I just, I'm a bit wary of putting her in combat because, you know, bigger risk of her dying. And until we have a son... That's kind of dangerous. I mean, granted, she can inherit the uh, title now, and because this is a matrilineal marriage, matrilineal marriage, any children of hers will be of our dynasty, and so it will stay part of our our um, our dynasty. I guess I keep saying that, but yeah. So at least we're sort of secure here. It's a good backup plan, but I'd prefer to have a son. And uh, hopefully we can get one fairly soon. With some pretty good skills and traits, if we are lucky. It'd be nice if uh, the quick trait passed on. But, you know, I won't hold my breath there. Hmm. The old gods surely frown upon it, but my friends try to lure me into hedonism by showing me the pleasures of life. I can't really decide if I want to enjoy life or please the old gods. Um, it's going to boost my fertility by 20%. I don't see how I can uh, ignore that. Uh, wow, there's a lot of melees going on. I'm going to ignore them all. He is stressed. Hopefully he can turn that around because I've seen a lot of characters die from stress. And it is not fun. Especially when you lose a good character to stress. So let's build the patrol posts in Last Hearth now. We've got them 
in uh, Carhold and White Harbor. Next up is probably going to be the Dread Fort. Oh, we already have patrol posts. Okay. Well, then I'll see what other options we have. Oh, God. Syphilis and Old Castle. That's not going to be fun. Hmm. Well, we are actually out of time for the day, so I think I'll break it off here. Um, let me know what you think about me giving Weeping Bay to my brother, whether or not you think this will come back to bite us. It looks like he is slightly loyal toward, toward us, which is good. Um, Victoria Westbrook is now Lady Paramount of the Reach. Okay. Who was it before? That's interesting. So the Tyrells are now the kings on the Iron Throne. That's really interesting, actually. Anywho, we're out of time for the day, so thank you so much for watching. I had a great time playing some Crusader Kings 2 with you, and I look forward to seeing you guys back here for the next episode.